Hey everybody, so today I saw Spider-Man Far From Home, directed by John Watts, starring Tom Holland, Jake Gyllenhaal, Zendaya, Samuel L. Jackson, Kobe Smulders, uh, Marissa Tomei, John Favreau, and Jacob Batalon. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, this film, to me, is somewhat lackluster, but they can be chalked up to endgame fatigue, much like how Ant-Man and the Wasp uh, felt underwhelming to me after Infinity War. Uh, the movie starts off very slow, but really picks up steam in the second act. Uh, Gyllenhaal is great, but much like the movie, he starts off slow as a character, but overall it makes sense for the character's progression. Holland once again proves why he is my favorite Spider-Man of the three that have appeared in live action. Uh, the comedy works exceptionally well, but the story just feels a little slow. And like I said before, I think it suffers from coming after Endgame. Uh, but, the, but the character progressions work very well. Uh, Peter becomes a more established character as well as his relationship with MJ is really well established and explored and really built upon in this movie. The only one that really um, doesn't get a whole lot of progression, which you had a lot in the in Homecoming, was um, Peter and... Oh, no, I can't remember. Peter and Ned's friendship. You don't really see a lot of that in this movie, but that's because it's focusing on him and MJ's relationship more on a personal level. That's the only thing that really lacked it to me. Uh, a flash... Get some very good character progression. I can see how it could fit into the third movie based off the after credit. But I'd be very interested to see where they're going to take it. Uh, to me, this is the perfect end for Phase 3. Wrapping up a, flu a few loose ends that have been left over from previous films. And does a great job at using things that had already been established in canon to create the characters and the villains. It also answers what happened everyone, uh, what happened to everyone after the snap. And how the world works greatly. Uh, though it spends only a few minutes breaking down the subject and really explaining it, the movie doesn't get bogged down by it, and it does more than enough an explanation to explain how this world still works and what really happened to people when it happened. Uh, but in the end, I feel Far From Home is a great addition to the MCU. Sony continues to put out good Spider-Man properties under the help of Kevin Feige, and I hope they keep it that way. Uh, after the two end credits, it's wild. They're both great. Two of the best ones I've ever seen in an MCU movie, and they're both shocking and really caught me off guard. One of my longtime wishes for the MCU finally came to fruition, and I almost jumped out of my seat when I saw it, and I wait in baited anticipation to see what they're going to do next with Spidey because of this. I'm going to give Spider-Man Far From Home an 8.1 out of 10.